Could you describe in detail a particular incident or scenario where you utilize your own philosophy on leadership? You talked about inspire. Some people like to tie in I can. the answer to that, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, and, and that would go back to, to when you asked me the moment that was mm -hmm. the most defining moment for me in my life. And that was the day that Scott drowned. And mm -hmm. I, had to, I had to go to the river. We were at separate rivers that day. And I spent about four hours watching the mostly volunteer search and rescue team do their job. Mm -hmm. And I tend to have a lot of drive, as we talked about before, right. and want to help in all kinds of situations. But I tried to be patient that day and let them okay. do their job. After about four, well, two hours in, I realized that they weren't going to recover him because they weren't in the water. They oh, were, yeah. they didn't have search and rescue, swift water rescue people there. They had people on the banks. So I made some phone calls um, and Clay Warren, Scott's best friend who had been there with him the day before, mm -hmm. and asked Clay to assemble a team of people that could come in and okay. perform our own search once search and rescue was done. So search and rescue only does one river search per day and then they let their team rest. They finished okay. about 2 o'clock, and at 2.30, we took our team in. It was on the way in, and as we got to the river, and as we were preparing to search for him, probably half of the team at some point or another said to me quietly, mm -hmm. you don't have to do this, yeah. you know, or you can wait, or, you know, we understand if you don't want to be here. And... At that time, I couldn't think anything else except for how in the world can I expect you to be here right. if I am not here? You mm -hmm. know, if I'm not willing to do this, and it's hard. It's a, it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. But it was also one of the most important things I've ever had to do in my right. life. And it was at that moment and every moment since that I've realized that if you do not distribute leadership into a team format mm -hmm. and everyone engaged in the process becomes committed to the goal mm -hmm. that's involved you are not successful you yeah. know you can't you cannot achieve success by yourself it's not it can't happen mm -hmm. you know and that day the 12 people that came in and selflessly gave of them themselves mm -hmm. and their time to help me um, taught me very valuable lessons mm -hmm.